Hello everyone. Um, I know two videos in a single week. Who am I? I don't know. Um, but I start school on Thursday, which means I really do actually need to ink up some of my fountain pens because I typically like to take lecture notes in fountain pen. And I promised you guys that I would show you part two of my fountain pen ink collection when I'm back in Toronto. So here I am. So this is my Hobonichi cousin. Um, this happens to be just like a week where I didn't use my Hobonichi cousin. These are the fountain pens I brought to Toronto and I actually haven't decided which pen I want to use for lectures just yet. Um, I'm deciding between the Pilot Vanishing Point and the Lamy 2000. It's gonna be one of these two. Um, but yeah, anyways, let's get started with the ink collection. So I think I will start with the Pilot Iroshi Zuku inks. I have four of them total. I showed you guys Tsukiyo in my previous video. To start off with, I have Sioro, which is a really pretty... Oh gosh, I'm terrible at describing colors. I would say more of a green that has a bluish tint, um, but it's definitely in the green family more than blue. And just look at how beautiful the bottle is. As you can see, it is a beautiful shade and unintentionally it matches the color of the Hobonichi page. Definitely one of my favorites. I'm actually half done the bottle. And yeah, this is also the Lamy pen in fine. The next one that I want to share is Konpeki, which is just a, I think it's a very, very popular color. And my friend who introduced me to fountain pen inks, he has this ink and I honestly just really fell in love with how it writes. So I got a bottle for myself as well. And I am very happy with it. Um, this is a rather newer bottle, so I don't have a lot of it used up and i think i will ink it up in my lamy 2000 and i just now i have decided this will be my lecture pen this is what i will bring to school um, mostly because the lamy 2000 it's a very durable pen um and i would feel a little better about potentially scratching it up um even though i hope that won't happen um whereas the uh, pilot vanishing point. I think it's a little bit more prone to scratching. So yeah And as you can see um, the seal part is kind of stained. So I'm just going to use a wet paper towel and wipe that down Okay, I just feel like the biggest idiot I was supposed to write down the ink color names, but I started writing down the pen name and this is gonna bother me so I'm gonna start off a new page because I, I just cannot, so give me a second. The other thing that I want to mention is that in the previous part, I used um, the same pen for all of my swatches. Uh, in this video, that is not the case because I genuinely do need to ink up these pens. So something to keep in mind is that every ink looks different um, in every pen. So something interesting is that these two are both Lamy pens, the same company. This one is fine, this one is also fine, but as you can see, um, let me focus. The Lamy 2000 is a lot wetter and thicker than the, um, I think this is All Star. Next up, I have Yamabudo, which is another popular ink color. This is personally not my favorite, to be honest. Um, I just tend to gravitate towards greens and blues, but it is still a gorgeous ink color. Now the vanishing point is very annoying to fill up. It's very difficult to do a full fill. Next up, I want to show you the only Robert Oster ink that I have, and I definitely want more. Uh, this is Blue Water Ice. So I think I will use my... Oh, oh no. This is a Lamy... Not 2000, All Star. Um, and it is an extra fine. So I do have to say this ink is a lot prettier when you use it in a wetter nib. For example, the Lamy 2000. Um, it gives off a really pretty reddish pink sheen. This is my first time using it in a extra fine nib and honestly it just does not look as great. But I promise this is such a beautiful ink color. Next up I have two, yes, two Sailor inks. These are Sailor Studio inks 
and I'm a big fan of them. These are rather expensive um, just because you get such a small bottle, but I think the colors are well worth it. The first one that I have is 350, which is a just the most perfect purple. I find that with most purples, it is either too saturated and just gross to the eyes and other times it is just too muted or it's too pink or it's too blue, but I think I have found the perfect purple. I'm using the Pilot Decimo in purple um, because it actually matches this ink very well. The next sailor ink that I have is 123, and this is also a pretty popular ink in the fountain pen community, I would say. And this is not an ink that I would get if you are buying inks to use professionally or like not really for fun, just functionally, because this ink is very light. Um, but it is probably the most unique ink that I have ever come across. It appears gray, it appears purple, sometimes there's like a greenish tint to it, just depending on which pen or which paper you decide to use it on. So I'm not going to actually ink this up, I'm just going to dip it in because I don't really have a use for this ink currently. So with this ink and pen combo. It appears to be a purple, just like straight up purple. But yeah, if you try it on different papers and with different pens, sometimes it'll be green and sometimes it'll be gray. Actually, I want to show you. I have been wiping off all of the excess ink and this is Sailor 123. The next one is Diamine or I don't know if it's Diamine. Um, I apologize if I pronounce it incorrectly. This is Terracotta and it is one of their anniversary inks, is it? Yeah, 150 year anniversary. Um, and this is such a beautiful color for fall. It is a very legible, once again, um, warm brownish color. And I adore this one. I use this ink a lot for journaling. And then the last ink that I have to share with you, which is the most exciting ink, is Noodler's Black. <laughs> um, if you can't tell, that's sarcasm. Uh, Noodler's Black, this is a very classic ink. It is very reliable. And if you need a black, this is probably the one that I would recommend. So yeah, this is all of the fountain inks that I have in Toronto. If you haven't seen part one of my video um, of all of my inks in Vancouver, then I will link it down below. I do plan on adding to my collection for this upcoming semester. Specifically, I want a really nice navy and also a golden yellow color. So I will see what I can do. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any fountain ink color recommendations for me, definitely let me know. Bye!